Hi folks. How we doing? Welcome to uh, Mondays with John. I hope you're all surviving this hot weather we're having. It's uh, 90 degrees here. Uh, Drew Millet, how are you? There we go. <laughs> Let's get this thing turned on. So uh, here we go. I hope you got your uh, dancing shoes on or you got your instruments out. And you've told all your friends and you're sharing this with uh, with everybody. All right, I gotta go back this way just a little bit. All right. Flynn, how you doing, buddy? Liam? Oh, my God. Alan? Alan Stern, how are you? Rebecca Strange? All my uh, 
wonderful friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Monday's with John again on this very, very hot day. I don't know what it's like where you are. Phil, Phil Cunningham, my lad. That was a beautiful tune you played. I, of course, I've heard you play it before, but uh, man, it brought back so, ma so many memories. Uh, just delightful. You're one of my, one of my heroes, brother. Uh, I love you to death. So, I love you to bits. Sorry. <laughs> so, and and Dylan, how are you? All right. So we're here for an hour, about just about, give or take, if I can handle it. My hand's doing much better. Thank you for asking. And um, I still have just a teeny weeny bit of uh, of uh, swelling there, but. Um, We'll, uh, we'll forge on, as they say, and uh, don't forget to tell your friends, and don't forget to tell everybody where you're from. Everybody loves to hear what county or what part of the states you're from, or England, or I know we got Patty Kinsler from Gorey. Wexford always comes through for me, so uh, we're delighted to, to have you on board. So uh, I thought I would do some tunes I haven't done in a while, and some good old favorites. I'm just trying to get this this uh, here, but somebody asked me if they could see the bass hand, so. Thank you, Phil. God bless you, my friend. All right, so here's a, a, a set of tunes I recorded many, many years ago uh, that I learned as a young boy. Uh, the first one is called uh, Jackie Coleman's, uh, The Bag of Spuds and The Bird in the Bush. Don't be in shock, everybody, that I actually know the names of these. So, <laughs> but, um, um, I actually I recorded these and, and strangely enough, they, the, this set of tunes ended up on a daytime soap show called uh, Passions. I've never seen it. I know nothing about it. But Brent, where have you been? I haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. Hope you're doing all right, brother. So let me change. Thank you. 
there you go. A couple of reels there. And um, Jerry Freeman, how are you? Kathleen Hart. And let me see, Dennis. Uh, Louis, how are you, buddy? Gaston, lovely to see you. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Kathleen Stratton, thank you. Lovely to see you guys. If you got an instrument, take it out and let's play together. And uh, Phil, t take out the box. We'll play a tune together. And um, or the piano, maybe. Or, or the whistle. Or the, uh, you're so damn talented. It just kills me. <laughs> All I do is play the box. Anyway, but uh, thanks for, for tuning in. Sharon, how are you? Um, Chris Corbett, Gloria, Chris McGlacken. Texas gals. Uh, maybe, you know, I'm, uh, uh, Chris, uh, can we save it to, the, to next week? And um, I'll get my buddy to come and play it with me on the, on the, the harmonica. I think that'll be kind of fun to do that. So uh, anyway, uh, I was going teaching today and I taught this tune. I haven't played it in a long time and I had to write it out because, you know, I, I can't remember anything anymore, right? So uh, the Patty O'Brien tune... Uh, the Boys of Luck Gowner is a lovely, lovely town. <laughs>
Thanks, Jay. I'm not feeling too bad today. Pretty good. A little hot, though. Sweating my, uh, you know what? And um, anyway, so let me go back. Just to Kevin Fanuke and how are you? John Nocta. Uh, Thomas O'Brien up Wexford. Thanks for uh, checking in, Rick. Dr. Rick, how are you, brother? I, we got to get together. I got to get together with your daughter. Uh, you got to get us in touch with each other, Rick. All right. What we got going on here? Ann Noonan, how are you, darling? Stephen, and uh, a couple of people already did the old uh, PayPal thing there. If you ever anybody's interested, uh, um, any any amount would be gratefully received. So you know how things are uh, today with this COVID stuff and work and getting uh, making it, trying to make a living and doing the best we can. That should be in a song, I think. So. Uh, <laughs> While we're on uh, the uh, subject and tunes of Patty O'Brien, this is a hornpipe, a couple of hornpipes. Um, the second one's the Western. I forget what the first one's called, um, and I apologize to Patty and Eileen. Uh, but it's a great tune. I've played it before, but I haven't played it in a while, so, uh, so here you go. <laughs> Western Hornpipe. So, uh, hi Lisa, how are you? Long time no see. Stephen, uh, thank you so much everybody for being here. Don't forget to tell all your friends, pass the word around. Let's have a party today, an accordion party across the world. As my uh, my buddy uh, Tom Comerford was saying, um, what does he say? Pandemic a pandemic communication around the world with the accordion. 
So I, I've received a lot of requests for probably one of the best known Irish reels there is. Uh, and uh, I'm sure all of you know it. And if you know it and you've got your instruments out, let's play it together. It's the Sally Gardens. We'll uh, put it together with the Slager Maid. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that, right? John Jennings, how are you? <laughs> Funny, John. All right. Uh. Oh, that's just like... Okay, I, I almost lost it. Thank you. 
Lucy can't. Uh, Miss Monahan's. Great tune. I love that tune. Love that tune. So how are you all doing? Hope you had a good weekend. And uh, you're enjoying your day or your evening or wherever you are. I know we have people from the other side. Uh, Connor Ryan and uh, all my friends from Wexford. And uh, Brian Boise Boy, how are you? Jim Madden, lovely to have you on board, my friend. Thanks for joining. So we keep getting close to that 100, and then we drop back down. So uh, let's see if we can break the 100 today. Uh, uh, we've, we've reached the temperature, today's temperature in uh, Vashon Island. We went up to 90. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, we can break that, or get tomorrow's temperature, which is probably going to be 100. So really? No. <laughs> wow. That's my wife, Jan, by the way. Say hi, Jan. Anyway, I um, I didn't light the f I didn't light the fire today. <laughs> What's going? Uh, I'm slacking off. Right, hold on. To light the fire. Hold on a second. We got to get the turf going here. <laughs> it's not the same, you know, you playing playing music without a turf fire. When I was a little boy, going to Wexford in my great grandmother's house. I sit there for hours, turning the bellows of the fireplace. I just used to love that. Sitting there and turn that wheel nice and gently. Keep the fire going on a nice, cool evening. And uh, the smell of the turf. There you go. And the um, and all the all the grown-ups would be around the table, telling stories or jokes or whatever. And then somebody would pull, actually, somebody would pull out a comb. Anybody remember those days? A comb and a piece of paper. And they'd play a tune on the comb with the piece of paper. Isn't that amazing? That just blew me away. And of course, somebody would have a juice harp, because nobody could afford instruments back then, you know? And um, then somebody would do a little step or whatever, sing a song. So, <laughs> Dick Adair, how are you, buddy? Sheila, here it comes. The boys of Ballas are there, Sheila, just for you. Thank you. 
Ryan Glynn, how are you? Larry Glynn, are you still there? Larry, i got a bone to pick with you. You do a waltz for Tom, but you won't do a waltz for me. I don't understand that at all. Brian, can you talk to him for me? John Nocte, how are you? So we were up to 96, and all of a sudden now we're back down to 82. I don't know what the heck's going on over here. Uh, <laughs> That's the best compliment I had all day, Brian. Thank you so much. You're not my type, though. Anyway, Gary Ackerts, how are you? Anyway, so let's do a couple of... Uh, uh, do a couple of polkas, maybe, right? A couple of old, old, old polkas you can play along. Come on, Brian, get the box out. These are, these are tunes you know.
few pokers for you folks. Billy Kirby, how are you? So, uh, anyway, thanks again everybody for uh, tuning in and uh, joining me tonight. And uh, uh, tell your friends, we still got a little bit more time to go. I might, I might go over a little bit, we'll see. I'm feeling pretty good right now, so. And don't forget the, the old tip jar if you're so inclined, it'll be really appreciative of that. I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I'm trying to do to, to, uh, to keep the wolves from the doors. As they say, there's fair exchange is no rubbery, right? So uh, some of you have already seen this stuff. You've seen my page. but So here's a nice little uh, pen that I've made. Uh, that's a beautiful little pen out of uh, Huckleberry. And uh, I make these little stands, desktop stands to go with it. And uh, there's one of, there you go, African Blackwood. So there's a, a Celtic twist pen. You can see all the lovely detail on there. Okay. And um, so I make the wine bottle stoppers for all those wine drinkers out there. And this is just one example of the wine stopper that I've made. And then I do, I inlay an old Irish coin. So a lot of my friends, Sheila uh, included, have been sending me, uh, Tom Comerford, been sending me old Irish coins so I can make the wine bottle stoppers. And, and I also make nice little coffee scoops. So there you go. That's a nice burl. Beautiful maple burl there, and um, and good old. This would be good today, wouldn't it, folks? A nice uh, uh, ice cream scoop made out of walnut, and uh, nice some nice detail on there. So uh, I do that kind of stuff. Little uh, letter opener. Yeah, that's what they used to do in the old days, right? People don't use that that stuff a lot of the, the stuff anymore, but it's really nice to have. And then I make you know, small pens too for people with lower budgets and stuff like that. So if you're interested, contact me on uh, John Whelan Woodturning on my Facebook page, John Whelan Woodturning, and take a look at my stuff. And thank you. Thank you, Jerry. I, uh, I I like the haircut too. So it was, and it was nice to actually finally get one done. <laughs> so uh, anyway, back to the music. And uh, again, don't forget the old tip jar if you're so inclined. I figured if everybody did a dollar, we'd do, we'd, we'd do, be doing pretty darn good. So um, anyway, uh, appreciate that. appreciate the the help. Thank you so much. So um, somebody was, uh, I think Neptune was asking for hornpipes. I did a couple already, but. Uh, so here's.
go three hornpipes there. The first one was uh, called uh, Spillander Fiddler. The second one, um, uh, uh, Mr. Lillis, was uh, a tune written by um, Marty uh, Hardeman in, in Chicago, called and it's called The Windy City. And the last one was a tune that I wrote uh, called Deacon Harry Doyle. And uh, Harry Doyle was a deacon at our church in Milford, Connecticut, where I used to I used to live. Michael Boyce, how are you, brother? And uh, yeah, Michael, it's the microphone. It's not the box. No, it's it's a lovely box. I love this box. It's really. <laughs> ah, come on, let's go. Come on, Mike, get the uh, get the piano going or the guitar or something. <laughs> very hot today so I usually finish at five o'clock my time which is about five minutes or so or less away but I think I'm going to keep going and uh, some people are getting here late Linda so better late than never so Linda I'm going to keep going just for you just for a few more turns you'll be happy to know it's a sugar-free I, sh I, I probably shouldn't advertise, but it's pretty good for something that has no sugar. Zero, 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 all along. It's kind of no calories, no sugar, no fat, no sodium. There you go. I'm trying to live the healthy life. Mitch Riley, how are you, brother? So, I was trying to do a key change there for you, Mitch. 
<laughs> but you know, Tom's not the only one that can do that. <laughs> so. Tim Wallace, how are you? Oh, yeah. Linda, that's okay, darling. I was just kidding around. Lovely to have you, whether it's for five minutes or a hundred minutes. I'm delighted to have you here and, and give give a big hug to John for me. Wayne, you got the bow on ready? Uh, no, it's not Ardbeg. That's that's for sure. We'll we'll do Ardbeg next week, Wayne. Right? Let's do that. <coughs> so uh, so I got <coughs> I have to do my obligatory waltz. I don't know if Larry Glynn is still there. He's probably not, son of a gun. But if he is, if you're there, Larry, play this waltz for you. And for all my friends in Wexford, kind of, uh, I play this every week now, almost. I think it, almost every week. So this is a beautiful melody. I'll play it slow first. It's called uh, Bula Vogue.
few jigs <clears throat> so maybe um i'll finish off with a set of reels don't go away uh pat mooney i'm sorry you're just getting here but uh i'm gonna end up it's uh i think it's five after five of my time here on the northwest and uh, you can always watch this of course because i save it to my wall and if you didn't get the whole thing you could always watch it tomorrow or whenever john delillo you made it how you doing brother so um Anyway, so I'm thinking I might do the old flug and reel. That's a great old tune, isn't it? Steve, okay. Steve, you were singing up a storm. I saw that video. Did you have a sore head to the next day? I think you did. I think you made reference to that. Yeah. But it was good. It was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun watching that video, Steve. Thank you. 
there you go, folks. There we have it. So thanks very much for uh, joining me. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, don't forget the PayPal or Venmo there. Uh, would certainly be greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll see you again next week. God bless you all. Thank you so much for, for being here and uh, making it fun for me. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll do it again next Monday. Mondays with John, 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock East Coast time. All right. Have a great week. All right, Jonathan Warner, take care of yourself, buddy. Looking forward to playing a few tunes with you. All right. God bless you all. Take care.